This truck is what I've been wanting to build since I was 16 years old. It's a 1938 Dodge pickup. It's taken me 10 years and it's still not done. I was obsessed with this style of, you know, the proportion of this truck is something that uh, I had seen before or, or close to. I, I drew it a bunch of times and I actually tried building it a couple of times and just never finished it. In one of the cases, like, my skills had progressed a bit and I, and I just hated everything I had done. I came back to it in, in 2010. There was a rusty cab sitting on Craigslist for, I think, 150 bucks. It had flowers growing out of it. It was, it was garbage, you know? I had no money, but I had the desire to build a truck, so that's what I started with. The next part of that was me building a frame. I, I knew the proportions I wanted to see, so I built the chassis from that. Just started collecting parts. I, I knew what I needed, and, and I would take anything that was close because I knew I could modify it to be what I wanted it to be. An old shop I used to rent, we had used the box from my previous build that got disbanded as a fire pit. I went back there and, and it was still there, so I, I took it out of the weeds and that was the box. The cab is like a 38 Dodge cab, the box is actually a 37 Chevy box. Uh, it, it was blue and, and different shades of green and, and the cab was red with shades of black. I drove it around like that for a little while, but it never really went together. But once we stripped it down with acid, now they look the same. The box had these black scars where rust happened and scrapes happened and so does, so does the Dodge. Now they look like they're meant to be together once they're stripped down to bare metal. The whole premise behind this thing is, is I want it to be as like raw and honest as it can be. I, I didn't Put any decorations on this truck. Every part has a purpose, every part has a function. I, I removed the dash, removed the dash. The gauges are mounted into a small thin aluminum panel. There's not a whole lot of room for, for parts on the vehicle, so my brake pedal and my clutch pedal share a fulcrum, and now my clutch master cylinder and my brake master cylinder are on my transmission tunnel, so they're all fully visible. The floor, that you know, the bottom six inches just did not exist when I when I got it. So, chassis is hand built, the suspension is hand built, but most of that entire truck is handmade. I find a lot of beauty in the functionality and in the way things work. So, I try to make things function, but also. What I struggled with the most on this car is, is the radiator setup keep the engine cool. It's a high compression motor. It runs pretty hot. And for the first year or two, we, we were running pretty hot. <laughs> My favorite thing about this truck is, is probably the flamethrowers, I guess. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, we just roll around town and, and shoot flames and, and people freak out about it. And, and, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> the most common reaction I get is, can you even drive that? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I can. <laughs>